Takže dámy a páni, vítam vás u ďalšieho dielu na hru Call of Juarez Gunslinger. A poďme pokračovať dále v príbehu tejto mega gamesky. Čo som pozeral, tak sme tak približne v polke, keď dokončíme túto misiu, tak sme mali byť presne na polke, na polkou. Čiže to je 14 misií, toto je 7. Tak tak nejak no. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. Oh shit, who's my man? He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. No, just point. Mr. Alto. They saw me before I saw them. Hi, Zuli. And it crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting has started, there was no backing down. Teraz sa zachránil dokola ten šil, čo máš na rytme. Tak si to preby. Čiže máme čas. Je zmrt. It was rugged country. The winter home of the Cherokees. And that's why they had retreated there. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, I got a lot of those. Preby, preby. Ej, sa dojúvame tak ja sa skýta. Piť. Ráda. Tak. Ešte niečo. Ty ste chceli vy dva povedať. Did you find Grey Wolf? Not at that moment, but I did find the entrance to their hideout. Oh, Oh, 
started, Job. A deep crevice that led to a deeper cave. Don't tell me you went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery of so much as pure, angry cussedness. See, back then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide. And I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit. They had torches on the walls. Dobre, pober všetky náboje, ktoré sa dajú. To bude potrebné pre ďalší progres. Ajme dále. Čo by bol jeho kávod? Big as hell, Ben. Chiricahua had hit out there during the Indian Wars. They thought it was haunted with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts? To be honest, I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. Keď ma trafia, tak sa treba skryť, no. Jasné, to berem. Degeši. Ideme na Degeš. Pardon. Pizza. Proste si myslel tam ten typek, že mu nevidím hlavičku. Ale že ja som mu videl prekrásne. Urobil som z ňou dobrý vitamínek. Ako mňu so much about engines? A few years back I was married to two mescalero women. At the same time? Yeah, they were sisters. Religiony is traditional among the mescalero. So what happened? Oh, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. Haven't seen them since. No, I mean, what happened with Grey Wolf? Oh, well, I pursued him into the cave of death. I came upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He came to me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows, and I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart, and if you do not release it, it will claim your soul. What's that? The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. As his story unfolded in my mind. You will come to this place again and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow until it consumes everything that you are. The soul will have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior, a coyote man, unequaled by any other pale-faced warrior, or something like that. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. 
I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. And indeed, huh? his warriors surrounded me nice and bitch. attacked me like hungry wolverines. They couldn't stop me, though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. I swear I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly one just appeared. Kind of like a miracle. I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. Finally I found myself back outside perched on the edge of a precipice overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith, but no way in hell I was turning back. I chased after him, uh. determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo's right. Are you making this all up as you go? A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but there was a lot of them. At least three or four? Well, more than that, little lady. Have a bulb, yeah. I had a steep climb up creek ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. And wouldn't you know it, that crafty son of a bitch led me right into a life. What kind of trap? Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches surrounding me. A hundred? God be my witness. Oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not gonna drag this out. Where were we? You were surrounded by a hundred Apache warriors. Well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of them. <laughs> And in the end, a path appeared before me that I had not seen before. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. 
Prostě zmizou. Never did find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. Čož? Jdeme na další kapitolu. Thank you, darling. It's interesting how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not? Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of the right? I did my best, sir. We all did. Ah, čo bude teraz za kapitol teda? A, volajú ma Bounty Hunter. Pekný názor, pekný. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Daltons got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Story was Bob Dalton's girl was always writing him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Coffeeville just to shut her up. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. You ain't stopping me! Yeah. Stop. Checkpoint. Počkať, a máme, 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 toto, Cold Rage, hm. Počkať, Improve Damage, to je Concentration, OK. A dáme si tuto, Fast Rifle Radio, môže byť. Môže byť, môže byť, to mi jedno. Zapra teba zachránila mŕtvová. The brothers pay daily for their stupidity. But everybody knows. They had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day. So I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all, It was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months, and now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunt feared by many a lawbreaker. The Marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for some bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. He went in there alone to confront those criminals. Huh? One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. From above. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. Hey, 
We've got company. <laughs> Heroic <laughs> men like him did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Like Jim Booth and Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Yeah, Is that Silas Greaves? Son of a bitch! You the dead! A skôr radšej takéto, než nie prokáli pošahané. Čus. A to je to vybrakované. came away victorious, taking down those thieving Daltons. His name was Silas Greaves. And when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Ashtak? Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. Zase? It was early evening, not high noon. The Daltons blew up a safe, and were all set to hightail it out of there. I was late to the party, and Coffeeville was already up in arms. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. And finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in Coffeeville. Now you're in trouble. Oh, now what? Ow. What are you going to do? <laughs> Ain't bothering me none. Oh, there it is. No, oh, this is too many, but it's really. Those friends came after me like a pack of wild dogs, tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. Problem was, they knew the town better than I did. And to top it off, I found myself in the middle of another shootout entirely. Did the Daltons hold up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Don't me Did the Daltons hole up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which wasn't any surprise, since those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths, pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, the bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit happens. Wait, 
do Happy Secret. The Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, no, but they always but, stood but together. Teacher, but they teacher. set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case uh. that trap of theirs didn't work. Youngest, and he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Reeves. This is where it ends for you. He what? was determined to protect his brothers. And I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long life. You messed with the wrong damn duck. Eh, to me Kurde. But Emmett Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? But I have to admit, that boy had grit. Tak, tak, kto si myslíte, že to bol? Aj zlý. Bounty Hunter je stále, stále moje meno. Dobrý názov kapitoly. We'll get those suckers! It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this! And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll track him to the ends of the earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. Hello.